Welcome to this QuickBooks tutorial on how to use a QuickBooks Petty Cash account. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. Uh, before we get started and before we talk about this, I want to make sure that you go and subscribe to my channel. Also like this video uh, if it is helpful. And by subscribing, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to get access to all my latest videos as they come out. So be sure to do that now. All right, so let's talk about petty cash. Uh, petty cash in a business is really, really common. And petty cash, if you're not familiar with it, is basically just a little bit of extra money for some small everyday expenses that pop up. Um, it could be postage. It could be, you know, gas. It could be meals. Um, you may have to give money to employees uh, to go buy something, whatever it is. Uh, but petty cash can be very handy as opposed to using, uh, you know, a, a credit card or a debit card or something like that. So I'm going to talk about uh, how to use petty cash in QuickBooks. All right. So first thing we have to do is we have to set up a petty cash account in our chart of accounts. All right. So we're going to go over here and we're going to go. I've already got chart of accounts up here uh, in my open windows, but what you can do is go to company, go down to chart of accounts. Okay. And a petty cash account is a bank account. And you can see here that we do not have one set up. All right. So what we want to do, we're going to set this up right under 10,400. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to hit new, and I am going to say, this is a bank account. Hit continue. Okay. And we're going to say, let me just go back and make sure of the number on here. Okay, this is going to be 10,450. Okay, so 10,450 is my account number. And we're going to call this Petty Cash. Okay, you can call it whatever you want. Uh, but Petty Cash is uh, probably makes sense. All right, so we're going to say save and close. And now we have Petty Cash set up here in our chart of accounts. Okay. So now we've got it set up. There's no balance. What do we do next? Next, you're going to have to put money into petty cash. All right. Now, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can do this as you make a bank deposit. There is an option in QuickBooks when you make a bank deposit. It says cash back goes to. It, so if you withhold some money from a deposit and cash back goes to, and you can put that into your petty cash account. And when I say a petty cash account, I'm not talking about a formal actual bank account. Okay. This is going to be, you know, a lockbox or something like that that you have in a locked up desk drawer that has some cash in it, uh, an envelope inside a locked drawer. You generally want to keep it locked up because it's cash. You know, it's pretty easy for somebody to walk off with cash. And so you want to make sure you leave this locked up. Uh, but it is not like a formal separate bank account at the bank. All right. And QuickBooks, we're just, it's a bank account because it represents cash of the business. Okay. Or you can simply take some money from an account and move it over to your petty cash account. So if you take a cash withdrawal, you go to the ATM and say, you know what, we're going to put $500 into our petty cash account. And the way you're going to record that in QuickBooks is you're just going to go to banking and you're going to say transfer funds. And we are going to say, let's say this is coming from BB&T checking and it is now going to petty cash. And the amount is $500. Okay. If you want to put in a, a memo here, you can do that. And class tracking, you can as well, uh, but it's not necessarily required. So we hit save and close. All right. So now we have $500 came out of our checking and 500 went into our petty cash. So now let's say that we, uh, you know, use some of that petty cash. Let's say that, um, you know, we, go to, uh, let's say Staples and we take $20 out of petty cash. All right. Now in a normal situation, I'm not going to go into the details on this in this video. Uh, but normally when you have a petty cash account and let's say that you give $20 to an employee to go buy some office supplies at Staples. All right. You are going to put in a petty cash register, you know, something that you are at least keeping track of this, you know, it can be written, it can be uh, whatever the case may be. You can even put this in QuickBooks. You can say, okay, I gave $20 to this employee and then they came back with the receipt that you keep and you put the change back into your petty cash lockbox envelope, whatever it is. Okay, so let's take this example. Let's say 
that we gave an employee twenty dollars, and um, they were going to go buy office supplies. Okay, so what you want to do in this situation? Okay, you can simply go straight to the petty cash register right here. This is going to be the simplest way to do this. All right. So for the number, uh, you don't necessarily need a number because there's no transaction numbers. Uh, or you can put uh, cash out. You can put one, which is on this example. You can put whatever the case may be. Okay. So the payee, we're going to say that this is going to a certain employee. So let's see. We've got Dan. We'll say Dan. Okay. And Dan, we gave $20 go to Staples. So we're going to say that this is office supplies for now. All right. And you say cash given for supplies. Okay. So that's the money out. So we're going to record that. So now in our petty cash drawer, we have $480. So if we go in there, there should be $480 in cash. Now let's say Dan went to Staples, Office Depot, whatever it is, and he spent, you know, $11.81. All right, so we should be getting back $8.19. So Dan comes back, and we say, Dan, we get Dan Miller, all right, and we're going to say deposit $8.19. All right, and we're going to put this back to office supplies. And the reason is because we said 20 bucks to begin with because we gave him 20 bucks. And then when he brings us the change, it's going to reduce that. So our actual expense for office supplies is really just the difference between the two, which is $11.81. All right. So now we've recorded that $20 going out. We've recorded the money coming back in with the change. And we should keep those receipts so that at the end of the month, we can reconcile the actual cash balance that is sitting in our petty cash drawer. Okay. Those are the basics of petty cash and how to use petty cash in QuickBooks, how to set it up, how to record transactions. Any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave those below. Uh, also, head over to the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org. So much more you can discover there, and I look forward to talking to you soon.